Madame Kocho. Be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. I now hand over the floor to the lead call lawyer for the civil party uh, to um, put the question to the civil party in question. And for your information, both the lead call lawyer for the civil party and the prosecution have only one more session uh, this morning to put the question to this uh, civil party. The president, please uh, put the substantive uh, questions, and if you have any issue, you may uh, file written submissions so that we can address uh, your issue formally. Nous présenterons très certainement des conclusions écrites, Monsieur le Président, vu ce qui vient d'être dit avant la pause. Je voulais simplement qu'il soit noté sur le procès verbal d'audience que nous souhaitions. Nous référer à la décision de la Chambre, la décision E315-1, par laquelle vous avez très clairement reconnu que les parties civiles pouvaient déposer tant sur les faits que sur la souffrance. C'est très clair et c'est la jurisprudence constante de votre tribunal. Donc ce qui vient de se passer avant la pause semble être un revirement absolument inattendu. Je constate que la défense a toujours posé des questions sur les faits aux parties civiles, que la défense a même explicitement demandé que les parties civiles qui déposaient sur le préjudice puissent être entendues sur les faits. Donc il semble que la défense veuille tout et son contraire de manière globale dans ce procès. The president, uh, please uh, make your uh, submission in president, writing and submit it to the uh, chamber and please put the substantive question now to the um, civil party. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. I simply wanted to express disagreement. Do you have any question? Le Président, est-ce que vous avez des questions à poser President, I now uh, put the question to uh, the civil party. Mr. Nepal, good morning. Bonjour, Monsieur le Parti civil. My name is uh, Pei Ong. I am the national lead call lawyer for the civil parties. I uh, continue the questions uh, from my learned colleague, Mr. Lao uh, on the uh, working conditions uh, at the Trapang uh, Tmo work site. Earlier, you uh, said that uh, you were required to carry us up to uh, five cubic meters, between three to five cubic meters. Could you tell the court uh, how you could uh, accomplish uh, this target of five cubic meters required? Response, three to five cubic meters of workload. For those who got used to uh, working, uh, they, of course, could complete it. But for those who never uh, did it, uh, it was uh, too difficult for them. For those who had never uh, done such a uh, Hard work, uh, it was too much for them. Uh, in today's uh, world, people could not do it. Uh, council interrupts. Let me interrupt you, uh, civil party. Um, I would like to now know the distance between the place where you uh, dug the earth uh, and the place where you had to build the dam, uh, how far was it and, and what was the uh, conditions uh, back then? Uh, 
response. From the pit, uh, we dug uh, the earth uh, to the the dam. It was uh, about 30 to 50 meters away. Question, uh, was it a flat uh, land or it was an uphill land? It was uphill because we had to build the dams, then we had to um, walk up the hill. We had to uh, move up uh, as the uh, dams uh, got higher. Question. When you were carrying, uh, were you carrying it and you walk casually or what? Response. We uh, could not walk as, as usual, actually, when we were carrying the earth. Uh, we had to uh, run uh, at the time because we need to get some uh, spin uh, from running uh, up to the uh, top of the dam. Question. When you were working over there, was there any meeting convened by uh, the supervisors of uh, the work site? Response. There were fairly frequent uh, meetings in order to receive uh, work plans. Question. You said uh, fairly often. Uh, how often was often? How many times per week or months? Response. They, at that time, uh, divided uh, into uh, small uh, groups. They had a small group of three, uh, ten, or thirty member uh, unit. Uh, the meeting were not held so often, but uh, it took place in different uh, places and different groups. That's why it was rather often. Question. So apart from setting out uh, the work plans, uh, what else did they share in the meeting uh, usually? Uh, did they, for example, uh, encourage people to um, intensify their effort? Response. In the meetings, they never encourage us or anything, but they uh, insisted that we reiterate our commitment. We have to uh, commit uh, to uh, complete uh, the task allocated. If we had to carry earth, we had to meet uh, the uh, requirement. Question. Were you entitled to, at the time, refuse uh, to accept the task allocation in response? No, not at all. If we were sick, we uh, had to um, go to the hospital, but we never knew where the hospital was at the Pernetmore work site. Question. Were you free to room around 
For example, you went to visit uh, friends or to go anywhere. Did you have that freedom? Response. No, we did not have time at all. Uh, we uh, did not even have time to take a uh, rest. At night, uh, we would uh, rush to go to bed and uh, knowing that uh, tomorrow early morning uh, we would have to uh, go and carry the earth. We uh, did not uh, really have time to visit. Uh, if we had some time, we would go and search for food uh, to supplement it. We never thought of uh, looking for relatives, for parents or friends uh, to visit. No, not at all. Question. Were you allowed to uh, talk to your co-workers when you were working? Response, no. We did not, uh, we did not uh, discuss or talk uh, to each other. We had to focus on our work. Uh, we had to commit to achieve our uh, assigned task, uh, so we did not have time to talk to each other. Question. Thank you. Now I uh, move to... The uh, subject concerning the visit of uh, foreign uh, or the delegates um, or guests uh, coming to uh, visit the Topeng uh, Tomorrow work site, uh, did you ever see any uh, guests uh, coming to visit the work site? Response. On this point, I do not recall the date, uh, but there was once uh, they asked uh, us uh, to line uh, up. Uh, there were one uh, queue uh, comprising of uh, youth uh, from the bank more to the first uh, bridge. Uh, to welcome the guests, and I had no idea uh, who the guests uh, were, but that was uh, once when we had to do that. Question. Uh, did you know how the guests uh, were dressed at the time? Response. No, I did not know because I dare not even look into their face. Um, I uh, was actually standing there, but I dare not uh, glance at their face. Questions. Uh, were there many uh, people accompanying uh, the guests uh, at the time? And uh, to your recollection, uh, what was the uh, ceremony about at the time? Response. Uh, they said uh, that uh, the guests would uh, come uh, to uh, visit the work site. I only saw the uh, cars and went uh, the black uh, color car uh, at that time. Question. Uh, did they actually um, uh, shout or announce? Uh, the arrival of the guests at the time? Response. I do not recall the event very well. Question. You said that uh, people were required to uh, line up to welcome the guests. Um, who uh, told you uh, to uh, come and uh, line up, and how were you required to line up at the time? Response. We simply uh, queue uh, along the road, uh, one uh, for the youth and the other one for the workers, and then they uh, draw uh, the car, and, the, uh, and then we uh, put our hands out to welcome them. I did not uh, recall. I only recall that instance when there were guests uh, visiting. 
question. I would like to talk about the queue. Um, how was the queue arranged uh, at that time? Uh, were they asked, for example, the uh, healthy ones standing in the front rows and then the senior ones standing at the back or so? Uh, was that the situation to your recollection? The President, uh, Mr. Witness, please uh, hold on. Uh, Council Arthur Vacan, you may proceed. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je voudrais quand yes, même attirer l'attention de la Chambre like sur le, however, le sport un petit peu périlleux auquel est en train de se risquer. Uh, Mon confrère, My colleague is engaging nous sommes dans une situation qui me semble tout à fait particulière. Dans un procès en France, une partie civile qui s'est constituée devant un juge d'instruction aura quand même été interrogé par le juge d'instruction. Ici, nous sommes dans une situation, dans ce procès, où les parties civiles qui comparaissent devant vous aujourd'hui n'ont pas été interrogées par un juge d'instruction. Donc tout ce dont est en train de parler cette personne, et qui n'a jamais été porté sur sa constitution de partie civile, Euh, nous le découvrons. Nous le découvrons maintenant. Et je trouve que sans cet interrogatoire qui n'a jamais eu lieu par les juges d'instruction, cette situation qui est mêlée avec le fait que les parties civiles peuvent s'entretenir avec leurs conseils comme bon leur semble est effectivement assez périlleuse. Et je, je ne comprends pas que la Chambre autorise que ce monsieur, avec tout le respect que je lui dois, puisse s'exprimer sur des points qu'il n'a jamais évoqués to express himself about points that he never brought up in his civil party application. The President, the lead co-lawyers for the civil party, uh, you may uh, proceed uh, with your line of questionings and the uh, observations uh, by the uh, Council for Kiss and Pond is not correct if you refer to the internal rules. Um, it allows because this uh, lines of questionings is uh, relevant to the facts. Uh, that's why um, he is uh, joining as a civil party before the proceeding now. Question. Mr. Uh, civil Party, uh, do you recall my last Monsieur questions? Uh, uh, when question. you were over there, uh, they lined you up to welcomes, but how uh, did they arrange uh, the queue? Uh, the healthy ones and the weak ones, how would they arrange uh, this uh, queue to welcome these uh, guests? Response. At the time, uh, they uh, would not uh, let the uh, sick or the weak one uh, come to welcome uh, the guests. Uh, they only uh, allowed uh, the healthy one uh, to come and queue up to welcome uh, the guests. Questions. Uh, who uh, made this arrangement? Qui s'est occupé de l'organisation de prendre ces dispositions? Response. Réponse. It was the person who was in charge uh, of the uh, construction uh, of the first bridge of the Pengtmo uh, work site. He said uh, that uh, the people who were to welcome the guests uh, had to be uh, healthy enough. Questions. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. I would like you to be brief in your response because I'm uh, also running short of time. Uh, questions. Did you actually have the uh, proper clothes at the time? Uh, response. In 
Welcoming the guests, uh, let me interrupt uh, Council says. Uh, I, let me reformulate uh, my question. Uh, when you were at the Pans Tmor uh, Dam work site, uh, did you have uh, proper clothes and uh, sandal to wear uh, at the time when you were working? Response. At the times we uh, were given uh, this uh, sandal made of uh, used uh, tire, and as for our clothes, uh, we did not have a proper one. We used the old blanket actually to make uh, clothes. Question, how about your accommodation, the place where you stayed at night? Uh, did you stay on a bed or anything? Response. We actually had the uh, bamboo uh, bamboo uh, bed, but it was not actually a bed, just bamboo, lit, en fait, and then we laid the bamboo, bamboo uh, stick on directly on the uh, ground, and then we slept on, on it. Council, uh, I, Mr. President, thank you very much. Mr. I have President, no further questions, and I thank you for granting me the floor to put the questions to the civil party. President. Next, I hand over the floor to President, the uh, prosecution to put the question to the civil party. Prosecution. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning to all. My name is Sri Ratana, uh, and good morning to Mr. Uh, with uh, civil party, uh, I am Monsieur from the uh, prosecution Bonjour. office of the ECCC. Earlier on, you uh, told the court uh, that you uh, received a five cubic meter quota for a day to uh, complete. Uh, if I uh, remember correctly, when you first arrived, you received a different work quota. So I would like to ask you, on the five uh, cubic meters, uh, when did you start receiving this uh, special work uh, requirement? Response. The five cubic meter requirement was a special requirement to complete uh, the construction of the first bridge. When we first arrived, uh, they uh, required us to complete uh, three cubic meter, but five cubic meter was the special task assigned to us to complete the first uh, bridge. Questions. How long, how long did you have to do that for the uh, special um, assignment of five cubic meter requirement per day? How long did it last? Response. I do not recall it. But I, the only thing I could recall is that uh, I, at some point, point in times I was required to complete five uh, donné, cubic meters, but I do not recall. Questions, uh, did it last long? Response. At first, until we uh, completed uh, the Au construction début, uh, of uh, that uh, first bridge. Question. What were the overall working conditions like? Uh, I want to know about the uh, difficulties that you had to endure at the time compared to your ordinary work requirements uh, when you first arrived. Response. At the time, we had to get up 
very early in the morning uh, from uh, 3 a.m. in the morning and we had to work until 5 in the afternoon uh, to complete uh, the work quota at the time. I do not recall uh, how long it lasted but I remember that I uh, did uh, it and we had to actually complete uh, the uh, earlier stage of the construction of the first bridge. Questions. Did uh, any members in your unit uh, fail to uh, achieve uh, the quota of 5 cubic meters per day? Response. I do not recall it, uh, but uh, people who could not uh, achieve the quota for the day were mainly uh, women at the time. Question. So what happened to them if they failed to complete the work quota for the day? Response. That I uh, do not know. Uh, the, that was... Uh, the issue mainly with the uh, company, uh, but for my unit, uh, we could complete uh, the work requirement. Question. Earlier on, you told the court uh, that you had to complete this work out of fears. What were you fear of? Response. We were fear of being taken away for Nous execution. We were fear of the uh, disciplinary direction of the ANCA. Question. De Did you um, ever Question. witness uh, anything uh, that led to your fear? Qui soit le de vos, de vos peurs, qui vous Response. I was not sure. I heard uh, from others through Anka that uh, the historical will, uh, we, we may not uh, catch up uh, the historical will. So uh, in the meeting, uh, they um, asked us to reiterate our commitment, uh, and we had to follow uh, what uh, they told us. Question. At the construction where you were working, did you ever see uh, any punishment in front of you? Response. No, I never saw it. Question. When you were working in an extraordinary uh, work assignment, uh, did you have to work at night as well? Response. Response. Uh, in that extraordinary assignment, uh, we had to get up very early in the Il morning at 3 a.m. and until 5 uh, in late afternoons. We did not have time to take rest. We had to have our meal uh, in the pit uh, that we uh, dug. Questions. Apart from this uh, work, uh, was there any additional assignments when you were working at the Tupankmo uh, Dam work site? After uh, filling the uh, and constructing the first uh, dam, I uh, was uh, working in the rice field, uh, the we call the dry season rice paddy. Does it mean that you have to complete uh, the construction of the bridge before you were assigned to do another assignment, is that correct? You stated that you did not have to work at night. I want to know if there, is, there was any additional assignment in addition to the special assignment that you received at that time. Answer, no, no additional work assignment. 
I had to work until 4 or 5 p.m. when it was the time for me to rest. Earlier on, you said that you did not have enough food rations to eat, so you had to go and uh, dig up plant, tree, plant roots. Did you go to dig uh, the so-called plong uh, openly, meaning that all you had to go to dig a plong that secretly? Ouvertement ou deviez-vous le faire en secret? Answer: I could not. Uh, you know, go and dig up a plong in an open fashion. I had to do it uh, secretly. Question, was there any time that uh, you were caught on the spot while digging up vu? the plong? Alors que vous creusiez pour du plong. Answer. Uh, I dug up plong, you know, while I was working in the field je because it grew in the field, so I did not uh, need to uh, do it secretly, but I had to spend little time to dig it while working. Co-prosecutor, you made a mention that uh, you did not uh, go secretly to dig Donc the plong, but you had to take your little secret. time secretly to dig up the plong. Et How did you manage to do that? Furtivement. Comment vous fait? Answer. After I completed Réponse. the work quota, Après avoir atteint le quota de travail qui after 5 uh, p.m. or after 4 p.m., when I completed the work assignment, I would uh, spend travail, four or five minutes uh, dig up the plong. Dans le champ pour cueillir du plong. Question. Question. So, does it mean that uh, you uh, dug the plong secretly without Donc, letting anyone know that you were there and digging the plong? Is that correct? That's exact. Answer yes, that is oui, correct. It's exact. Thank you very much, uh, Civil Party. Mr. Merci President, I would like to seek the floor for my esteemed uh, colleague. Uh, President, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Council. Good morning, Mr. Civil Party. Merci, Monsieur I have Bonjour. just a few more questions for you. When you were working at the Trapang Tama Dam work site, did you ever hear of any workers being referred to as lazy? Avez-vous jamais entendu dire que l'on faisait référence à des travailleurs comme des paresseux? Answer. Réponse. I do not really get your Je ne question. comprends pas votre question. Would you question. ever hear anyone at the work site, Sur le either your unit chief or another person que in a position of authority, describe certain workers as being lazy or not working hard enough? Answer. During the meetings, we were educated Pendant les that réunions, nous étions we had to comply on, with on organizational instruction. No one was allowed to be lazy. Personne n'avait le droit d'être paresseux. No, no one. Uh, could uh, be lazy at that time. Personne ne pouvait être I have never heard of that. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler.
while you were at the dam, did you ever hear of a unit called the Special Case Unit? Answer, no, I never, no. and have never heard Jamais. of that so-called special case unit. I do not know what uh, that was. Je ne sais pas ce qu'était cette unité des cas spéciaux. Were you ever asked to write your biography while you were at the dam site? Vous êtes demandé de rédiger une biographie alors que vous étiez sur le chantier du barrage? Kim Dell, answer. No, no. They uh, did not uh, instruct me to write a biography. When I said I uh, did not know how to do it, and then they did not force me. Ah, uh, did anyone ever ask Question. you about your background, vous about vous where you were from, about who your family was, or anything like that? Answer, Réponse. no, they never asked no. because I uh, was, I uh, did not know how to explain them. Car je ne savais pas leur expliquer. I'm sorry, I don't Le understand your answer. Je you said, je ne pas votre what I heard is that they never asked vous because you did not know how to explain it to them. Can you, can you explain what you mean by that you did not know how to explain your background to them? Answer. I, I said I did not know when I was asked, uh, and after this, question, uh, they, they stopped uh, asking me, de me poser les because I said I did not know. Car que je ne pas. So just so that I'm clear, you were asked about your background, you said that you did not know about your background, and they stopped asking you questions about your background. Is that correct? C'est exact. Ban. Réponse. Answer. I did not uh, know at that time, said the witness. Je ne savais pas à l'époque. Were you ever aware Question. while you were at the Trapang Tama Dam Alors que of vous étiez au chantier yourself de or other members of your unit? being monitored -vous, -vous by conscient? individuals at the dam site? Du fait qu'on vous surveillait, vous et les autres travailleurs? Answer. Réponse. Back then, I was not interested in the who was monitoring whom. À I je pas particulièrement was intéressé much par interested in qui. resorting to sleep uh, when I enfin, moi, je had no longer dormir quand energy. Je plus I did not spend time chit-chatting with anyone. Je pas passé mon temps à avec les gens. Were you aware Question. at the time of anyone that was a former official or soldier in the Lan Nol government that worked at the Trepang Tama Dam? Il y avait des anciens responsables, enfin fonctionnaires ou soldats de Lan Nol qui travaillaient sur le chantier. Yeah. Answer. Réponse. I do not know about that. Je n'en sais rien. I do not know. Je ne sais pas. 
At any time that you were at the dam, did you become aware of cadre from the southwest zone arriving at the dam site? Answer. Réponse. Regarding the southwest zone, uh, at the time I did not know them. I heard that uh, there were southwest zone cadres. Cadre did you ever see any arrests while you were at the dam site? Question. Avez-vous été témoin d'arrestation sur le chantier? Answer. I Réponse. never witnessed any arrest. Je n'en ai jamais été témoin. No. No. Were you Question. ever aware of people disappearing? From your unit? Avez-vous vu si des gens disparaissaient au sein de votre unité? Réponse. Answer. I do not know about Je that. Ne... I Je do not know. Je ne sais. When you mentioned earlier Question. that at meetings, they would discuss the work plan with you. Who was it who was discussing the work plan with you at these meetings? Answer. It was during the meetings convened by chief of Handed person unit. Gagnizé, le chef de l'unité de 100 personnes. He said uh, it was from the upper echelon, and I guess perhaps the, the, that chief uh, would uh, follow what the upper echelon told him to do. donc ce chef obéissait aux ordres de son de l'échelon supérieur. And what did the work plan consist of at these meetings? What type of information would be contained in the information that the unit chief was conveying from the upper echelon regarding the work plan? Question. Answer. It was about the so-called work plan, namely uh, building the dam. It was about that, uh, building the dam. It was the goal of Anka to have the dam built. Were you ever provided with a date that the dam had to be built or completed by? Answer. I have no idea. I was told to carry dirt so that the bridge could be built. And later on, I was told to stop, and I stopped anyway. I knew nothing else. Did you ever hear of the Trapang Tama Dam worksite being referred to as a hot battlefield? Answer. I do not know about that. I came to carry it, uh, the dirt as I was assigned, or whether it was a hot battlefield or cold battlefield, I have no idea. Thank you, Mr. Civil Party. Mr. President, I have no further questions.
Et merci, Monsieur le Président, je n'ai plus de questions. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. J'aurais quelques questions de suivi à vous poser. Good morning, witness. Vous avez indiqué I ce matin que, morning, avant d'aller au barrage de Trapentma, vous avez été gravement malade, et cela se situait à un moment où vous travaillez dans une unité mobile, et vous étiez affecté à des travaux de moisson du riz. Si j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit ce matin, vous êtes parti au barrage morning, en juin 1977. Est-ce que c'est bien la date à laquelle vous êtes allé indeed, sur le barrage the date on which you went to the dam work site. Monsieur le Président, juste une observation, je suis sûr que c'était un slip de la tongue de Judge Levine, mais il a dit bonjour, bonjour, monsieur le témoin. Je pense que c'est une bonne journée, monsieur le témoin. Je vous remercie, M. Copé, de Thank relever you, Copé, mes lapsus. Je pense que ça sera tout à fait utile pour la conduite de ce procès. Mais j'aimerais revenir à mes questions. Monsieur euh, la partie civile, pouvez-vous nous, nous confirmer Mr. si vous, êtes, si vous avez bien été transféré au barrage de Trapentma en juin 1977 Mal, mal. Answer, yes. Oui. Nam. Votre euh, maladie et euh, votre hospitalisation illness, remontent à quelle période Est-ce que c'était longtemps avant votre transfert à Trapakma oh. ou c'était juste avant When did that happen Was it long before you were assigned to work at Trapakma or shortly before you were transferred to Trapping to Ma Damwok site. To, to uh, the answer, it was long, four, five or six months. Quatre, cinq ou six mois. Uh, after I recovered, four or five months, or six months after I recovered, Et I was transferred. J'ai été transféré quatre, cinq ou six mois après m'être rétabli. D'accord. Et donc, au moment où vous avez été malade, vous effectuiez des travaux de moisson, de moissonnage du riz et vous transportiez également des sacs de riz. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Merci. I was harvesting rice at the day during the daytime and uh, at night time I uh, was made uh, carrying uh, rice sacks. Le président, President, uh, you have anything to chose à dire, put before the chamber, Mr. Kung Sum On? Council Kung Samon, I am not clear in the interpretation into Khmer. Dans l'interprétation en Khmer. And then the, it was asked that uh, the witness uh, uh, was sick uh, when uh, he was asked to have his rice and uh, carry a rice sack. Le, but the witness may have responded uh, differently. So please, uh, Judge Lavent, uh, you have the question que uh, again, because the translation in Khmer was not clear about it. Président, pas très clair. Le President, uh, please, uh, Judge Lavent, uh, could you Lavent, repeat uh, the question to be clear for everyone? Yeah. Well, Monsieur la partie civile, Mr. Civil Party, vous nous avez indiqué ce matin this morning, avoir été hospitalisé you said that 
avoir craché du sang et si j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit, vous avez dit que cet événement s'est produit alors que vous étiez en train de d'effectuer des travaux de moisson du riz et aussi des travaux consistaient à transporter des sacs de riz. C'est -ce bien ce que vous avez dit ce matin. Is that indeed what you stated this morning? Man. Could you answer? Yes, uh, it is the oui. response that I uh, gave this morning. C'est la réponse que j'ai donnée ce matin. Bien, bah écoutez, c'est bien ce que j'avais compris. Well, J'espère que maintenant c'est clair pour tout le monde. Monsieur, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si à cette époque, vous avez dit que vous étiez épuisé par le travail que vous avez à faire, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si à cette époque, vous aviez également suffisamment à manger Sometimes I had uh, cooked rice while I was harvesting rice, uh, and later on, after the harvesting uh, season, uh, there was uh, no rice, and uh, I uh, was given the gruel to eat instead. Est-ce qu'à cette époque vous souffriez, ou est-ce que les autres travailleurs qui étaient avec vous souffraient d'un manque? d'alimentation, ou bien est-ce qu'il y avait une alimentation suffisante. In other words, did you receive sufficient food? Now, answer. Regarding food ration, it was not enough uh, back then. However, as I stated, uh, during the harvesting dis, season, there was a uh, cooked rice uh, for us. And later on, after the harvesting season, uh, we were given uh, gruel to eat. Bien. Quand on vous demandait de transporter des sacs de riz pour les mettre dans des wagons, est-ce qu'on vous a dit ces sacs de riz devaient aller Coaches, were you told where those bags of rice were being carted to? Answer, I have no idea about uh, the matter. Uh, there were bags of rice uh, and uh, bags of rice were uh, uploaded onto uh, the wagons of the train. I do not know where those bags of rice uh, were carted to où ces sacs de riz étaient emmenés. Est-ce que vous avez vu qu'on est que des trains et amené du riz, non pas Est-ce que vous avez vu que les trains ont amené du riz là où vous travaillez Ou est-ce que vous avez vu uniquement des trains emmener la production qui était faite sur place that you produced at the dam work site. Answer. No uh, incoming trains, uh, non, avait, but uh, I noticed that uh, trains uh, were transporting du, uh, salt uh, to my area. Des trains transportaient du sel dans ma région. Donc vous nous dites qu'il y avait du sel qui était amené dans la région où vous étiez. Et ce sel, il venait d'où carry a bag of Moi, salt out of the train de and de also des sacs to de sel carry bags of rice into the train. Et de des sacs de riz. Ces travaux de chargement, de transport de sacs de riz ont duré pendant combien de temps For how long did the work you did 
loading rice uh, last Lee I had to do the job until all bags of rice were out of the uh, warehouse and sorted the entrepôt bags of rice uh, were collected from uh, different places uh, within uh, sector 5 and secteur placed 5 in that uh, warehouse uh, and I had to do the job until moi, all those bags of rice uh, que tous les were sacs de carried into the wagons. Donc il s'agissait d'un entrepôt qui collectait du riz so, qui venait de tout le secteur 5 the warehouse you're referring to et ce riz était mis ensuite dans des wagons. Pendant combien de temps Est-ce que c'est un jour, deux jours, trois jours Pendant combien de temps vous avez transporté les sacs de riz Answer. I do not Je recall it. Pas. Whenever they required uh, me or members from my mobile units to do the job, they Quand came to call us to work. I did not know how long it lasted. Nous à ce travail, mais je ne me souviens pas combien de temps cela a duré. Est-ce qu'il y a eu un seul train ou est-ce qu'il y a eu plusieurs trains? Was there only one eu... train or several trains? Qu'est-ce que vous, qu que vous pouvez nous dire? What can you tell us in that regard? Answer. I never saw the head of the train, but uh, I knew that uh, there were wagons of train. J'ai simplement vu qu'il y avait des wagons. D'accord. Peut-être qu'il y a un problème de traduction. Very well. There may be an Est-ce que le train problem? est venu une fois? Ou est-ce qu'il est venu plusieurs fois C'était pas qu'une seule fois. On différentes occasions, but I cannot tell you how many trips. Mais je ne saurais vous dire combien de fois. Bien, je crois qu'on arrive à, à la fin de la session, donc euh, well, je vais arrêter là mon interrogatoire. Je vous remercie beaucoup, monsieur le témoin. Monsieur le participant. Please uh, find a proper oui, race or waiting room for the witness and uh, le la TBO staff. And please invite them back into the courtroom at 1.30 in the afternoon. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kisson to the holding cell downstairs and tampon. bring him back before 1.30 in the afternoon. The court is now in recess.